Hello, how's everyone doing? Welcome back to my channel for another unboxing and review. Today, SW Toys Lady Bat. And here is the art box that it comes with. Pretty simple, just the figure in the front and in the sides and the back. It's all black, nothing going on. Once you open the box, you will find our figure with all the accessories that it comes. Not a lot, to be honest, but we are going to take a look at those. And here we have all the accessories that come with our lady bat. Uh, we got uh, four extra ends. I'm not going too much into detail. They are normal ends, just painted black, not much detail into it. Then you got as well this batarang in plastic. It's funny, however, there is no any end to use with that batarang. Maybe it's only for decoration purpose. And then you got uh, your that grappler. The, that you have the two accessories that you can attach to it. It's uh, all in plastic, black color, have some detail, but nothing very fancy. Very, very simple. For the accessories, everything is quite simple but I think Batwoman doesn't have much more. Taking a closer look here at uh, the figure itself, our uh, Lady Bat, Batwoman, which I think it le looks quite okay. The outfit, actually, the material that it comes is uh, quite easy to work with. Is some parts of rubber, some parts of art plastic. The chest area is some kind, not pleather, but some kind of um, vinyl material. But the outfit itself is uh, on, on a material that it's quite easy to to work with you will not need to uh, worry about any cranks or whatsoever the pants the same material actually is quite good for this kind of figures and then in the boots i don't know if you can see but there are some white parts there is some glue i think this is a quality problem i will need to check how can i fix this maybe by passing some black paint onto it uh, then you got these arm plates that they are in plastic the top one is again that uh, kind of vinyl material the neck piece is made of some rubber which i think works pretty well and then the mask is art plastic then you got the the cape the cape actually the material i like is the same material i have for my batman the drape cape two wires on the sides but the wire to be honest it's not very strong but i think it will serve the purpose uh, quite well then we got this air the air is like that kind of barbie air that you really need to work a lot later for me to pose it i will need to use some water some toothbrush to adjust the air because it's it comes all messed up from the box but i think overall for the suit i don't have big complaints so also toys will do also this figure and i will compare the both of them uh, next week but for this sw toys actually i'm surprised doesn't look that bad i think it works pretty well for the articulation you got double joint knees no any problem here the suit also helps because you don't need to worry on damaging the suit you got double joint knees the arms you got any rotation you need you don't have any problem you can extend the elbows uh, without any problem. The, actually, the body is quite malleable. The torso is a bit more complicated because of that uh, chest piece uh, that I'm afraid to damage it. Uh, the neck, you can rotate as much as you want, but I don't want to expose the skin because it's a bit brighter than the face plate. Here is the second head sculpt. Just change the eyes position. It's basically the same. The air, everything is the same. I think overall for this figure, if you adjust the air well, you can have... Uh, a nice bat woman for your collection it depends how will it compare with the so so toys version i'm very curious to see that here we have our bat woman that was played by ruby rose on the tv show actually i think if you adjust the air well it looks quite okay if you need a bat woman for your collection you can consider this one that's all for today i will see you in the next one